Hi, I'm George, and in this video, I'll be showing you how you can optimize your resource packs, your custom resource packs. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share as well. Also, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so. And when you subscribe, hit that bell icon to get notifications of my new videos. And take a look at my channel for a lot more Minecraft videos. Okay, let's get to it. I always recommend making custom resource packs from the complete resource pack, and that's what I show in my videos on how to do custom resource packs. But once you've done that, you will probably have only changed just a bit of what's in there, and you don't actually need anything else. And I'll show you how to handle that in just a second. Now, the way this works is that you can put in several resource packs over here on the right-hand side. This is the active side. So I want to bring over here my window pane resource pack. I'll bring that in. I'll move it down one level like that. So at the top I have my spacesuit, then I have the window pane, and then down here is the default. Now the way Minecraft works is it first looks up here, and it takes anything that's in here. It then looks to the next one to see anything else that's missing, and then it goes down to the next one to fill in the rest of the blanks. So you only need to keep in your resource pack just those individual files that are actually part of your custom look. You don't have to have anything else in there. For instance, this spacesuit.zip resource pack right here, this has just the texture for the spacesuit for my character. Okay, let's take a look and see how this is done. We'll go ahead and look at that, and then we'll do another one as well. Let me just get this out of the way. Click on Done here, and I'll get this minimized. There we go. Here's my custom resource pack for the spacesuit. Let me open this up, and I'll show you what I have inside here. I'll just double-click on that. There's the assets. It has, of course, the pack.mc meta file, which you have to have, and it has to have the correct notation in there. Right now, that is pack format 5. I'm working in Minecraft 1.15 right now, and 5 is the correct pack format right there. I've left the description as custom resource pack. This is just what shows inside of that list over on the resource pack section of Minecraft. You can change this to anything that you want. I've just left mine as custom resource pack. doesn't really matter what this says. If you want to, you could change this to match the file, but I'm just naming my zip files with what's actually inside, so that's all I really need to do. The pack PNG over here, this is up to you. This is a personal file. This is just an icon. Let me bring this up. That's just an icon image, and that's what shows inside of that list. If you don't want to have that, you'll just get that dirt icon, but in black and white instead of your own customized icon. Okay, let's take a look inside the assets. Go inside here. There's Minecraft. That all looks normal. This we're missing a lot of stuff in here, and I just have just textures shown. In here, I just have entities shown. And in here, I just have just that one texture file right there. And that's all that's in this whole resource pack is just that one image. And that's all you actually need. So it's going to take that image out of this resource pack and then look into other resource packs lower down in the list for everything else that's needed. Okay, let's go ahead now and see how this is done. Over here, I have an earlier resource pack I did. This is for my Mars look, which I've done a couple of videos on, and this is the resource pack for that. I'll make a copy of this resource pack. Just click on Copy the Assets folder. Right-click, and I'll click on Paste. And then I'll use that one. I'll rename it down here. There it is. I'll use this one as my original source. So if I want to go back and make other resource packs, and then I'll just go back to this one. And then we'll optimize this resource pack and I'll use this just for some textures. Now this is what I have up here for my Mars look. So I have some dirt textures in there, some stone textures and so forth that I've recolorized to match my Mars theme. And we'll leave just those and take everything else out and optimize the file that way. Now I'll go ahead and I'll pause the video for a second, let this thing finish up. As soon as it's done, I'll bring the video back up again. Okay, there's the copy. I'm just going to rename this one original. Like that. So that's my original one to work from. If I want to make more resource packs, I'll just duplicate this one. Okay, here's the one that has my changed textures in it. Let's just open this one up and go into Minecraft. Actually, you don't need this file right here. I'll just hit the delete key and get rid of that. Let's go into Minecraft. Now in here, all I've done is change things in the textures folder. So all of this stuff can go away. I'll go up here and I'll come down to text. I'll select all of that, hit the delete key, and lose all of that stuff. There we go. Now inside of textures, I'm only working with things in the block and the color map folders, in those two folders. Nothing else in here 
is needed. All the stuff I'm not touching for this particular look. So I'll click on this one, hold the shift key down, click on that, and I'll delete all of that stuff. It's just not being used. So now I have just these two left. Let's take a look at color map. And I have a couple of versions in here that I've changed. They're actually inside of these two Photoshop files. I'll go back and change those at some other time. I made up kind of a reddish coloration, but I'll leave that right now. Also, if you're making custom textures, you can leave your working files like this inside of the folder. Minecraft only looks for the files it knows about. It ignores everything else. So you can leave working files in here if you want to. Okay, let's go up into block. In here, I have a lot of things that have been changed. Down here I have bamboo stock right there. I've changed that one. And that's this file right here. If I scroll down a little bit, another one down here, here's my coarse dirt. I changed that one in here. So what I'll do is I'll go through and I'll delete everything that I don't need. So that's all of this stuff right here. Just get rid of all that. Choose OK. I'll get rid of that one. Delete that. Choose OK. And I'll just go through and I'll take out everything that I haven't changed and delete all that stuff. I'll leave in my changed blocks right here and I'll leave in my working files as well. Okay, I'll go ahead and do this process and I'll pause the video for a minute just to do this and I'll bring it right back up again as soon as I've deleted everything that I'm not using. All right, there we go. I've left in only the blocks that I've changed in here and I've removed everything else. I did the same thing in here with the color map. Actually, this only had just those two blocks, so they're just fine. Okay, just back up a couple steps here to assets. That's all fine. And there we go. So this folder now only contains those actual textures that I've changed and it contains nothing else. Let's now just compile this together. First, I'll double check my pack MC meta. This is an earlier one in here, so I need to change the format here to a five because that's what we're working with nowadays. And again, you can change this or not as you want to. It's up to you on this right hand side here. This is just the name. I'll just call it Mars look. There we go. And let's save that file. And down here, the pack PNG. That's an earlier one I used, kind of my generic image here for my resource packs. If you don't put one in, let me show you what happens if you do. If you just leave that pack PNG file out, I'll show you what happens. It's not bad. So I'll choose the assets. I'll hold down the control key here and choose my pack.mc meta. You have to have that file in here. Right click, and I'm using 7-zip for this, but you can use WinRAR as well. Add to archive. Most important thing in here when you're doing this on any zip program is make sure you're going to the zip file format and nothing else. That's the important bit. This already says Mars Resource Pack zip. That's okay. I'll just leave that as is. Choose okay. That was real fast because there's just not that much in it. And there's that new resource pack. Let me just open that up a bit. There we go. So there's our resource pack. Once you have this made, you'll need to put that into your custom resource pack folder inside of Minecraft. Let me bring Minecraft back up again. There you go. Let's go into Options and Resource Packs, and then I'll open the Resource Pack folder right down there. Here it is. Now in here, I want to have that new pack I just made. Let me bring up that folder. There we go. I'll now just right-click and drag it over here and choose Copy. I always use Copies so I can always go back and change my working file over here. So there it is. There is the new Resource Pack inside of the Resource Packs folder inside of Minecraft. Let's just minimize these, get this out of the way. Click on Done, click on Done again, go back to Options, back into Resource Packs, and there we go, there's that Resource Pack right there, the one that we did. There's the name change, I made it say Mars Look, and because I didn't include a Pack PNG file, it gives me this generic icon right there. That's why you want to use that Pack PNG, you can do a custom icon. If you don't do a custom icon file, you get this grayscale thing right there. It still works. It's just you know a visual thing. It's up to you if you want to use that or not. Let's go ahead and I'll pull this one over like that. Now what's going to happen in here is that Minecraft will look at this file first and grab everything out of here. It will then look at the next one down and grab everything out of there that it needs and then work its way down to fill up all the resources that it's looking for. So you can stack all these in here. It uses the highest resource pack as the one it pulls the resources from. So this Mars pack up here at the top will give me my Mars coloration. The next one gives me my spacesuit. This third one down here gives me a window pane change that I made in a previous video. And then everything else is contained here inside of the default. Go ahead, click on Done. That loads that in. And then I'll launch back into Minecraft right here. 
and let's just choose my standard Minecraft world to launch into here and we'll take a look at my Mars area with the Mars coloration and make sure that the spacesuit is also showing as well because those are in two separate resource packs now. Let's launch this one in. As soon as it's launched, we'll then take a look at that Mars location. Okay, here we are at my Mars base. And you see that my Mars coloration is working just fine. There's all that coloration. Even the stone over there has been recolored by Mars coloration in there, so that's all working great. You can see inside of my greenhouse here that the trees have been colored as well. So the grass and the trees are colored. That's because that was in that color map. I have a separate video on how that's done. So I've colorized that as well. And that's all with that Mars look resource pack. That's all it had was just those things. You can see my hand down there. Obviously, I'm also wearing my space. So let's go ahead and just flip around here. There you go. There's my space suit working just fine, and that was in a separate resource pack. So you can divide your resource packs up into distinct sections if you want to for different aspects. So I have my textures in one and my spacesuit in a second resource pack. If I wanted to do separate sounds, I can do the sounds in a third resource pack. Do the exact same trick, leave just the sounds folder in the resource pack, delete everything else, and then give that its own name. And you can then have your sounds in their own separate resource pack. It makes it really nice to organize things this way. It makes it much easier to work. Of course, you can always go back to your original full resource pack to do anything else, to add more stuff in and so forth. But the one that you're working with, if you optimize it, it's going to load faster. And it's also just nice to be able to kind of organize things this way into separate sections. Another nice thing about doing this is if an update happens, like the new 1.16 updates that are beginning to show up in the new snapshots, if that happens, I don't need to worry about the spacesuit. My spacesuit texture will still work the next version of Minecraft as long as Minecraft doesn't change that one particular texture. Now, if they change the pack format number again up to number six, I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. As long as it still works with five, that's fine as well. If they change it, all I have to do is just to re-export that one resource pack and just change the pack.mc meta file up to the new pack format number and everything is fine. So there you go. That's how you can optimize your resource packs, make them a bit more organized and also load a little bit faster. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you click on share as well, and also subscribe if you haven't already done so. I really appreciate that. When you subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications in the future and take a look at my channel for more Minecraft videos. Okay, and I'll see you next time.